Have you gotten your flu shot yet? Well, this flu season is shaping up to be one of the worst in recent memory, and the season hasn't even peaked yet. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabeo joins us now with more on the strain that is spreading at an alarming rate. Jim Morrell, good morning. Well, this strain has been around for some time now. Unfortunately, this year's flu shot isn't as effective as doctors would have hoped. Flu season is especially rough. Millions of Americans have caught the bug as widespread flu activity is now reported in every state except for Hawaii. <coughs> The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is classifying the 2017-18 flu season as an epidemic. According to the CDC, roughly 6% of Americans have flu symptoms. One of the areas hit especially hard is Texas. You know, flu is serious and it's widespread every year, but we have never had it hit like it has our campuses this year. At least 11 school districts in the Lone Star State were forced to close because of six students. Came home yesterday with a fever and a headache and a stomach ache, and so we went straight to quarantine. This flu season started early in Louisiana and Mississippi, and in some areas like Southern California, hospitals were so overwhelmed, triage tents were set up for flu patients. This is an interactive map by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and it shows just how fast flu has spread across the country. We pick it up in the beginning of December, where you can see some local and sporadic activity, and over the course of a month, all of that brown shows now widespread activity. Here in the tri-state area, health departments are reporting many more cases than this time last year. Year to date, Pennsylvania is reporting close to 18,000 confirmed cases of the flu. In New Jersey, there are more than 3,000 cases, and Delaware reports 555 cases. The main strain this year is the vicious H3N2 strain, which has been around in some form for decades. It's part of the current flu vaccine, but that's only expected to be about 30% effective this time around. Still, health officials recommend all Americans roll up their sleeves and get a shot. I'm really concerned about how many people are opting not to vaccinate. Being vaccinated is going to um, assure you to have at least a shorter duration of illness and probably a milder flu. So experts think holiday travel and kids going back to school have created a breeding ground of sorts for this flu outbreak, and it's nothing to play with either. The CDC says the flu kills at least 12,000 people every year. So if you haven't gotten your flu shot just yet, you still have time. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, when I was traveling during the holidays, and everyone's coughing and sneezing yeah, on the mm -hmm. plane. I'm thinking, what am I going You're home next, with here? Right? Yeah, fortunately. There was a period everybody was sick here in the newsroom. Yep, yep. Right, thank, thank you, Jan. Jan.